Question. Number. One. Define cholecystitis. A. Inflammation of the urinary bladder. B. Inflammation of the gallbladder. C. Inflammation of the pancreas. D. Inflammation of the liver. The correct answer is, letter B, inflammation of the gallbladder. Option A is referring to cystitis, the inflammation of urinary bladder due to infections such as UTI and other urinary diseases. Option C is referring to pancreatitis. Option D is referring to hepatitis. Question number two. Nurse Mimi is providing education to group of students that the gallbladder is found on the blank side of the body and which serves as the storage of blank. A. Right side, bilirubin. B. Left side, bile. C. Left side, bilirubin. D. Right side, bile. The correct answer is letter D. Right side, Bile. Gallbladder is located underneath the liver which serves as the storage of bile that emulsifies fat from the food we eat. Rationale for incorrect answers. So what is bilirubin? It is a yellowish pigment that is made during the breakdown of red blood cells. After 120 days of circulation, red blood cells reach its life cycle and will be engulfed by macrophages produced by the liver and spleen. Red blood cell is then broken down into hemi and globin. The globin is then further synthesized into amino acids which is recycled by human body. Hemi is then broken down into iron which is also recycled by the body. Bilirubin in unconjugated or water-insoluble form. These unconjugated bilirubin is excreted in the bloodstream. Through the help of albumin, it is transported to the liver for further synthesis. It combines with glucuronic acid forming conjugated or water-soluble bilirubin. It is then excreted through the common bile duct down to the duodenum giving our feces a yellowish-brown color. Question number 3 Select all statements below that are correct regarding the role of bile. 1. Bile is created and stored in the gallbladder. 2. Bile aids in digestion of fat-soluble vitamins, such as vitamin A, D, E, and K. 3. Bile is released from the gallbladder into the duodenum. 4. Bile contains bilirubin. A. 1 and 2. B. 2 and 3. C. 2 and 4. D. All of the above. Let's apply the process of elimination. Bile is created in the liver and not in the gallbladder which makes statement 1 incorrect. Bile aids in digestion of fat-soluble vitamins, such as A, D, E, and K is a correct statement. Bile is released from the gallbladder into the duodenum is a correct statement. Bile doesn't contain bilirubin as they are two different enzymes even though they are both produced in the liver which makes statement 4 incorrect. Therefore, the correct answer is letter B. 2 and 3. Question number 4. Patient Ryan was transferred to your unit with acute cholecystitis. Nurse Mimi was able to confirm that he has positive Murphy's sign by which of the following? A. Patient lie on his left side while the right thigh is flexed backward causes pain in right lower quadrant. B. Pressure is applied and released on the right lower quadrant causes pain in right lower quadrant. C. The patient stops breathing out when the examiner palpates under the ribs on the right upper side of the abdomen at the midclavicular line. D. The patient stops breathing in when the examiner palpates under the ribs on the right upper side of the abdomen at the midclavicular line. Let's apply the process of elimination. Option A. Patient lie on his left side while the right thigh is flexed backward causes pain in right lower quadrant is known as psoas sign which is an indication of appendicitis. Option B. 
Pressure is applied and released on the right lower quadrant causes pain and right lower quadrant is known as rebound tenderness still an indication for appendicitis. Option C. The patient stops breathing in, not breathing out. When the examiner palpates under the ribs on the right upper side of the abdomen at the midclavicular line which makes this statement incorrect. Therefore the correct answer is. Letter D. The patient stops breathing in when the examiner palpates under the ribs on the right upper side of the abdomen at the midclavicular line. Question number 5. Ryan is post-op day 3 from a cholecystectomy due to cholecystitis and has a T-tube. Which of the following assessment of the T-tube requires immediate nursing intervention? A. You have observed that the T-tube drainage is yellowish, green in color. B. Ryan was placed in semi-fowler's position. C. The drainage bag and tubing is at the patient's waist. D. There is approximately 750 cc of drainage within the past 24 hours. Let's apply the process of elimination. T-tube is placed in the common bile duct forming a letter T. It drains both bilirubin, yellowish in color, and bile which is greenish in color making statement A correct. Option B. Ryan was placed in semi-fowler's position is a correct statement as it facilitates drainage due to gravity. This position elevates the head for 30 to 45 degrees. Option C. Drainage bag tubing should be placed in patient's waist level. It can also be placed below waist level but should not be placed at the level of incision which makes statement C correct. Option D. 750 cc of drainage within 24 hours is already alarming as the maximum drainage should only be 500 cc which makes option D requires an immediate action of the nurse. Therefore, the correct answer is letter D. Question number 6. Patient Ryan is unable to have a cholecystectomy for the treatment of cholecystitis. Therefore, a cholecystostomy tube is placed to help treat the condition. Which statement about a cholecystostomy also known as C-tube is true? A. The C-tube is placed in the cystic duct of the gallbladder and helps drain infected bile. B. Gallstones regularly drain out of the C-tube. Therefore Nurse Mimi should flush the tube regularly to ensure patency. C. The C-tube is placed through the abdominal wall and directly into the gallbladder where it will drain infected bile from the gallbladder. D. The tubing and drainage bag of the C-tube should always be level with the insertion site. Let's apply the process of elimination. Option A. C-tube is placed directly in the gallbladder not in the cystic duct making this statement incorrect. To avoid confusion, T-tube is placed in the common bile duct while C-tube is directly on the gallbladder. C-tube is mostly performed for patient that doesn't require cholecystectomy or removal of the gallbladder. Option B. C-tube doesn't drain gallstones instead. It only drains bile which makes option B incorrect. Option C. The C-tube is placed through the abdominal wall and directly into the gallbladder where it will drain infected bile from the gallbladder is a correct definition of C-tube. Option D. Drainage bag should not be at the level of insertion site. It should be at waist level or lower which makes option D incorrect. Therefore, the correct answer is. Letter C. Question. Number. 7. Ryan who has recovered from cholecystitis, is being discharged home. What meal options below are best for this patient? A. Baked chicken with steamed carrots and rice. B. Broccoli and cheese casserole with gravy and mashed potatoes. C. Cheeseburger with fries. D. Fried chicken with a baked potato. Let's apply the process of elimination. Patients with gallbladder disorders are advised to take non-fatty foods. In option A, baked and steamed foods are non-oily so this can be served to the patient. Option B, cheese and dairy products are high in fat so this is not advisable to the patient. Option C, 
Cheeseburger is high in fat, thus this is not advisable to the patient. Option D. Fried chicken involves oil cooking thus, not advisable to the patient. Therefore, the correct answer is letter A. Question number 8. Which assessment data indicate to the nurse that the client recovering from an open cholecystectomy may require pain medication? A. The client's pulse is 65 beats per minute. B. The client has shallow respirations. C. The client's bowel sounds are 20 per minute. D. The client uses a pillow to splint when coughing. Option A. Normal pulse rate ranges from 60 to 100 beats per minute, so 65 doesn't require further action. Option B. Shallow respirations is an indication that the patient is unable to cope up with pain which requires further action of the nurse. Option C. Normal bowel sounds ranges from 5 to 30 gurgles per minute, therefore 20 doesn't require further action. Option D. Splinting when coughing can help make your cough stronger and less painful. This also avoids incision to be reopened due to stretches. This makes option D not requiring any further action. Therefore, the correct answer is letter B. How many correct answers did you get? I know you got it all correctly, but wait, don't forget to hit on subscribe button and turn on notification bell so that you will be notified for upcoming videos. You can also share this to your friends. Goodbye.